don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. It's a weekend, it's Friday, and I'm sure you're all getting ready for that amazing weekend trip or weekend getaway. As usual, I am your host, Selas Ifiawe. Today I have some great news for you. Thomas Partey's robbers, the suspected robbers of Thomas Partey's residence, as I brought you, he was robbed twice in one week and they have been arrested. The robbers were arrested, they were in possession of his Champions League runners up medal that they won in 2016. They were in possession of his passport and four of them have been arrested. One of them had all those things in his residence. I'll give you more details on that i'll be talking to you also about the ghana black stars b they are preparing to face burkina faso in the chan 2020 qualifier this sunday more details coming up on that front and kumasi asante kotoko versus fc san pedro felix anan is assuring the fans that they will get the results that they need as usual if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so we all know i brought you a story a couple of weeks ago thomas party's residence was robbed and some items were missing the first robbery occurred when the caretaker of the residence was in the house and she unfortunately the arm the, the robbers were armed and she had to let them do what they wanted to do because she feared for her life the second time around the sister of thomas party was around it they could not rob anything now reports in spain according to espn are saying that thomas party's robbers have been found they have been located and they have been held in custody three of the robbers have been found one of them had thomas party's passport and champions league honest up medal in his residence i, I wonder why would you why would you steal thomas party's passports i don't know what they wanted to do with it but thankfully they have been found and justice is said to be served now the spanish authorities have arrested several members of an organized group in connection with home invasions and burglaries of real madrid and atletico madrid players so the capital madrid is where these things are happening now the group which consists of four albanian members was arrested after the civil guard an organized military force that has police powers raided their bases in madrid and toledo now sources close to the investigation said that the fifth member was not found and managed to flee spain which will lead to an order of an international search to be processed now sources have said that in the operation the police covered more than ten thousand euros in cash as well as jewelry car keys and items of great sentimental value including the champions league runners up medal which belonged to atletico madrid midfielder thomas party as well as his passport who had his house burgled twice in the space of a week although there are yet to be a, yet to be an official statement from the police sources say on thursday that the guardia civil who are working on the basis that the same group also burgled the houses of players other players including casemiro aguaro morata lucas vasquez zinedine zidane isco and karim benzema now possessions were stolen in the majority of cases but in the incident involving Morata and Thomas, their families were home at the time of the incident. There have been a long list of footballers who have been affected by this, including Barcelona, Valencia. As I told you, Barcelona, our very own Kevin Prince Boateng has his home burgled. That's earlier this year. Gerard BK, Arthur, Samuel Utiti, Gabriel Paulista. Phonius, Mori, William Caballo, but it has yet to be confirmed whether the arrested group is responsible for these attacks. Real Madrid manager Zinedine Zidane has also been burgled, while Vasquez's wife and other players have shown concern over the situation and hope these arrests will help the players feel more secure. Now, the players themselves have gotten security details, extra security for their homes and family members and i think it's in due course i'm really excited for my parties items have been recovered the burglars are in custody and hopefully this will not happen again and the players will feel a bit more safe so that's great news coming from the camp of thomas party His items have been recovered and the burglars are in custody and hopefully they'll get the justice they deserve i move on to my next story about the ghana black stars b and they are preparing to face Burkina Faso in the second leg of the Chan 2020 qualifier. Yes, I brought you a news that today was supposed to be the fixture, 
but it has been shifted to Sunday. 20th of October, they will be facing Burkina Faso for a chance to play in the Chan 2020 that takes place in January next year in Cameroon. Hopefully, they can make it there. We've placed the last two editions of that tournament and this time we hope that we can make it there and get Ghana represented and do well as well and hopefully the boys will not disappoint us. Now in light of that Chan 2020 issue, the Ghana Black Stars B were reported earlier to have boycotted training due to unpaid allowances. Now you all know they took part in the Wafu 2019 and it's reported that they were not they were not paid adequately their allowances but now things have been sorted out the boycott happened on wednesday the finish again in the just ended waffle cup of nations after losing to the host on penalty shootouts now the boycott according to reports happened on wednesday and the sports ministry and the football association and the normalization committee led by dr kofi Amwa, are yet to pay them their per diems all the players players are currently in camp and they are preparing for the Chan 2020 qualifier against Burkina Faso on Sunday. Now they boycotted training, as I said, a few hours on Wednesday, and now things have been resolved. Thankfully, things have been resolved, and the boys can get back to doing what they do best, and that is representing Ghana and doing well at this tournament, and hopefully qualifying and doing well at the tournament subsequently. So that is it there with the Chan 2020 qualifier. The Ghana Black Stars B, who did amazingly well at the just ended Waffle tournament. Unfortunately, they could not win it three times in a row, and that was what Coach Maxwell Kennedy was aiming to do with the boys. Things have been resolved, and they can get back to playing the game. The boys will be airlifted tomorrow, and they will land in Ouagadougou on Saturday. Sunday, the game will be played, and they'll be airlifted back into the country also so that is it there on the front of the ghana black stars b who will be facing burkina faso on sunday in the second leg of the chan 2020 qualifier to my final story has to do with kumasi asante kotoko goalkeeper felix anna now kumasi asante kotoko we all know are going to face fc san pedro in the calf confederations cup they missed out on the calf champions league after a 12 hell rallied back from that 2-0 loss they suffered here in kumase and now kumase has had to contact relegated into the half confederations cup and they are set to face FC San Pedro of Ivory Coast. Now, Kumasi Asante Kotoko goalkeeper Felix Anand is assuring fans that they will make the group stages of this competition. Now, Asante Kotoko skipper Felix Anand says the team is ready to recompense their CAF Champions League exit with a qualification to the group stages of the CAF Confederations Cup at the expense of Ivorian side FC San Pedro. Now, the Porcupine Warriors dropped to the Confederations Cup following. A 3-2 aggregate defeat to Etoile du Sahel. Now, Anand urged the fans to entrust their faith in the players as they would not disappoint them this time around in the African second tier competition next month. This is what he said. We are very hungry for that because we came out of the Champions League, which was very painful. So we want to make amends for failing to qualify for the Champions League group stages. Therefore, I will assure the supporters that we will treat this game differently so they will keep they should keep supporting us Kotoko will play the hosts to san pedro in the first leg of the confederations cup on november 27th the second leg is slated for a week later so that is it there on the front of kumasi asante kotoko and felix anan assuring the fans that they will do everything within their power to qualify for the group stages of the calf confederations cup after missing out on the group stages of the CAF Champions League. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments box and this weekend some amazing fixtures. Club football is back after international break that happened a couple of weeks ago. Club football is finally back. Performance of Ghanaian players will return on Monday as well as Liverpool versus Manchester United who are really struggling this season. Liverpool's perfect record. Can Manchester United find a way to stop them? Your guess is as good as mine. We'll enjoy the weekend. I'll bring you a review on monday let me know what you think about everything that has happened i've talked about here thomas parties robbers have been arrested thankfully and also fc san pedro versus kumasi asante kotoko felix anand says kotoko will make it to the confederations cup group stages and the black stars be also set to face burkina faso in the chan 2020 qualifiers your predictions in the comments box i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day have a great weekend